Good morning, gang. Happy Vlogmas Day 7, I think. Yeah, I don't know actually. But I'm pretty sure it's Vlogmas Day 7. I am heading out the door. I'm on my way to my F45 workout. It is a strength day. We're out. With, we're without Tay today. She is at her work retreat the entire day, but she is back tomorrow. So, so I'm just gonna take you along my day in the life, hanging with Dame. But yeah, that's what's going on right now. I kind of have a busy day today. I have to go to. I'm gonna go get a workout in, 8:30 a.m. class, and then I have a dance appointment at 10:30, and then we have a full days of work, full days of editing. So. Yeah, there's kind of a lot of moving parts today, a lot going on, but uh, yeah, we're gonna get it all done. So, but first things first, gotta get this workout in. Can't really function without it. I'll just be thinking about it all day. All right, got here a little early, so I'm just waiting to go in. But I just tried this new Celsius flavor, and it's uh, pretty disgusting. I didn't realize that it was not carbonated and then it said plus green tea. All I saw was the raspberry acai, which sounded good. I've never been much of an energy drink person, but I don't know, been into, been into Celsius lately. We had them when we were driving from, on our road trip, and then ever since then I just got addicted, so I don't really put in these things. Okay. I just got out of F45. I'm on my way back home right now. I only have like an hour to get Dressed and ready. Oops. Dressed and ready before my test appointment. But strength class was good. I'm definitely more of like a cardio person. I never really loved lifting weights. I like to like sweat and move. Me and Tay are complete opposites on that aspect. But yeah, I'm about to go home, make some breakfast real quick, and then jet over to my dentist appointment. Uh, luckily, it's super close to our house though, so. It shouldn't be too bad. Turn out the door. But I got on this dentist outfit. Dentist fit check. I have on my diet or my diet starts Monday. LA clap hat. This treasure and bond like zip up. I got my Elwood shirt underneath. Standard issue pants. Converse. Tuck the shirt in. Yeah, I gotta bounce. Uh I am so late. Okay. Bring on my work stuff because. I'll probably end up stopping somewhere right after the appointment to catch up on work and stuff, so that's what's going on. Oh, dang. Nice out. Just made it to the dentist office. Uh, what the? I'm actually kind of a little nervous because I haven't been to the dentist in like, I haven't been to the dentist in two years. Mainly because since we moved to Austin, I have a dentist back home in Anchorage. So, I don't know, I was just a little skeptical of just going to a new dentist, but since I haven't been in two years, I was like, I should probably go. So I'm a little nervous to see what's going on. Ooh, not nervous, but I'm curious as to what's going on with my teeth. All right, just got on the dentist. Actually feels good, I got them cleaned. X-rays, the whole thing. I have two cavities, which I don't think is that bad actually for not going for two two years. But the dentist said all my other teeth look really good. My gums look good, so all is well. I scheduled my fillings for in January because we're gonna be going home for the holidays. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get those taken care of in January, but it's supposed to have them cleaned. I have like, I used to have braces. So I have like a small little bar behind my bottom teeth. I don't know if any of you guys have that, but uh, that's like the hardest area for me to keep clean. So that's the only thing he recommended was to either get a water pick or those little like fetters that go underneath. So anyways, that's that. Got that done. I'm starving. I literally haven't eaten a thing today. There's a Torchy's Tacos right next to the dental office. If you're from Texas, you're probably really familiar with that. Uh, so I'm gonna go in and grab a taco to eat. And then after that, uh, I'm gonna run to that bookstore and probably get a coffee, get some caffeine in me, because I haven't had one today. And yeah, but let's just go on. One thing I've checked off my list, two things checked off my lift, list, workout, dance appointment. Now it's like really catch up on work right now because I'm behind, but I'm gonna grab a taco. Torchies tacos. 
Oh, damn, it's busy. I got the Mr. Orange, which is like a blackened salmon taco with kind of like pico de gallo on it. Just got home from Torchy's. Sorry, the camera died. So I just sat, sat there, had lunch a little bit, got a salmon taco, uh, and that's pretty much it. Ate it, came straight home. I decided not to go to the bookstore because I figured I'd just come straight home. Make some coffee, save a little money. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm about to make some coffee. And then I need to catch up on work. I need to lock in for a couple hours because I didn't get to work this morning because I worked out and then went straight to my dentist appointment really. So I'm gonna sit down, work for a few hours. Uh, but first things first is coffee. Haven't had any caffeine today. Uh, we're trying out this, I mean, I think we already showed this the other, the other day, but I actually, it's growing on me, this coconut cashew milk tea, which he had it, wasn't really into it, but I had it again. I made it with a second coffee and I'm starting to like it now. Uh, still not as good as our milk, but I am into this one so far. Um, so usually for my coffee, I mean, I know we've probably done this a million times, but usually for my coffee, I just do two shots of espresso um, a little bit of the milk, and then I do like a little dash of agave. Got my two shots of espresso. We've been using the Chamberlain coffee. Uh, Tay picked up two bags the other day. Um, we typically get one, The we typically get our beans from this place called Palomino Coffee that you've probably seen on a lot of vlogs if you follow us. Uh, and I like those ones still slightly better, but this one, these ones are really good. I think this is like Emma, Cham Emma Chamberlain's brand or something. The only reason I know her is because of that video that she did with, or the video on the red carpet with Jack Harlow. Yeah, anyways. Got my two shots of espresso. A little bit of milk. A lot of bit of milk. And then a dash of agave. Some ice, shake it up. Add to the glass. Hey, we also got these glasses off Amazon. Tay bought them for us. But uh, they're really similar to our old fashioned glasses that we bought from Williams Sonoma. These ones here. Kind of like our whiskey glasses. But there was like, this was like a four pack for like, I think it was like under 30 bucks. So, I mean, and these were pretty expensive. They're good, uh, I don't know, they're good. They're just good for like iced coffee or like beer or something. I usually work in the kitchen at the bar area. Uh, I like it because we get so much natural light in this, in the kitchen area. But the only other place would be Tay's desk, which I don't get to use often because obviously Tay's using it. But right now I'm turning on a podcast. I like, usually like to have one on in the background before or while I'm working. Uh, but right now I'm listening to Mid Convo. It's a podcast about, well the host name is Paul Weaver, but he's a freelance photographer and the other host, his name is Edward Lee and he's a videographer. But they just talk about all the business aspects of it and kind of how to get your own thing going, which is stuff I'm super into, so it's always interesting to listen to. But other than that, I'm about to lock in right now and get to work, because I am super behind. Your boy is gonna be unemployed. Um, I logged off work and then after work I caught up on a little bit of editing. I caught up on a little bit of editing for Vlogmas to catch up just a little bit. But now I'm about to make dinner. I uh, am making steak tonight, which is kind of random. Um, I don't typically make steaks. I don't think I've ever actually made a steak before. But the reason I want to is because this YouTuber I follow 
is doing the carnivore diet, which is a pretty popular diet right now. I'm not doing that. Um, he's just been making a bunch of steaks lately, so I got me craving a steak. But I'll show you what the setup is right now. I bought a grass-fed steak, and I just seasoned it with salt, pepper, and then I'm gonna use butter, and then I'll probably just have avocado on the side. Um, and then, oh, I have potatoes cooking too on the side as well. But I think what I'm gonna do is at least what TikTok says. I was literally went down a rabbit hole of how to cook a steak on TikTok, but I'm gonna use our skillet that we have in pan sear it. Said two minutes on each side, and then put it in the oven. So to get it all crispy, which is how I like it. So that's what I'm about to do. Final product, I have, the steak actually turned out pretty good. I did the cast iron for two minutes on each side and then three minutes in the oven at 350 to get a little crispy. Uh, I have half an avocado on the side and then a few potatoes. So pretty well balanced dinner. Uh, I already tried a piece of the steak and it actually turned out, it actually tastes really good. So not too bad for the first time doing it in a cast iron. But yeah, pretty proud of how it turned out. I feel like I just got like my Rite of Passage man card or something, I don't know. Yeah, so I'm gonna just chill, eat, um, kind of relax for a little bit. I have Vlogmas to post, so I'm gonna do that. And then uh, probably go to bed. I pick up Tay tomorrow, so that'll be exciting. I'm excited to see her, excited to have her back in the house. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. That's gonna be a wrap on Vlogmas day seven. Uh, I'm picking up Tay tomorrow, so everything will be back to normal in the world. But go ahead and like and subscribe if you aren't. We'd love to keep you guys around. And... <laughs>